Hey there, Rivet Crew. Happy Friday. Today is 9-11, so we're doing a special memorial wide to honor the, the victims of that event. Um, as you can see, the workout starts with a 2001 meter row. That's our buy-in that just happens once. Then we move on to four rounds of nine clusters and 11 strict pull-ups. Doing that whole thing for time. Probably going to take somewhere in the 20 to 30 minute range. Um, what I want to talk to you today is grip, right? All these movements, we are holding on to something. And so we need to kind of like, you know, take care and manage our, you know, what our hands are doing, how we're gripping things throughout the course of the workout to make things go a little more smoothly. Um, first off, on the rower, right? When we're rowing today, three things to keep in mind here is we do want to have that thumb, right? Underneath the bar, underneath the handle, I should say, for a nice full grip when we are rowing, right? So thumb underneath. Uh, we also want to have a nice relaxed grip on the row. So the row is mostly about using the legs. Rowing is mostly about the push with the legs, right? We shouldn't be pulling really hard with the arms. Arms don't do most of the work. So to that end, let's try to not grip really tight, just kind of a close, but relaxed grip. And this keeps us from using our arms too much. Um, and the other thing there is we want those, those hands right about shoulder width apart, right? We don't want to go too narrow. We don't want to go out to the very ends of the handles right about shoulder width apart. This helps keeping the, the elbows track close to the body when we're rowing. Um, next thing, uh, I'll go to strict pull-ups next. A couple of those same things apply uh, from the rower, right? We do want that thumb around the bar and fingers over, right? So we have that full grip. Um, we also want the hands right about shoulder width apart when we're doing our pull-ups. But the one thing that's very different is we actually want a really tight engage grip, right? We're relaxed on the rower. On the pull, so we actually, we want a very, what I call a deep grip. When we're hanging on the bar, we actually want to get those knuckles up and over the top of the bar if possible. This puts our wrist into a more active position when we're hanging. It helps us to engage our lats and uh, upper back better um, for doing our pull-up. So full grip, tight grip, and if you can, try to get those knuckles over on top of the bar. If you can get these knuckles pointing up towards the ceiling, it's going to make those straight pull-ups just a little bit easier to do, again, for muscle engagement in the back. Um, and then we got, uh, we have our clusters. So clusters are kind of interesting. We're going to have three different grips because a cluster is basically a combination of three different weighted movements. We have a clean, right, which we should use our hook grip for, right? We hold the thumb, thumb around the fingers, you know what a hook grip is by now. We do that for our clean, right? This enables us to have kind of, I mean, it's a relaxed grip. All we're doing is holding on to the thumb. We can jump nice and hard. Right, and then the bar comes up to the rack, right? And then our next movement is a front squat. So for this one, most of us, due to lack of mobility, are gonna have to lose that hook grip, right? We're gonna flip that thumb out, and we're gonna go kind of a loose, almost fingertip grip for the front squat part. This way we can keep the elbows high. Most importantly, we can keep the weight of the bar on top of the shoulders as we do our front squat all the way down and up. Then we're gonna go overhead into a push jerk. And for that one, you know, we have to transition to a closed but relaxed grip as we go overhead. So we have hook grip in the clean, a loose, probably slightly open fingertip grip for the front squat, and then into a closed but relaxed grip for the push jerk. So make sure you practice that during the warm up with your, your empty barbell, right? Hook, loose, closed, go overhead. We've got to make those transitions relatively quickly when you're in our clusters today. Um, that's it. Focus on grip today. 9-11 workout. Challenging. Have fun. Happy Friday.